When I started reading about 17 years ago, my favorite books were self-help books. I loved self-help books because they made me believe in myself, which was the exact thing I needed as a young guy, judging from the fact that I experienced one of the worst situations you can ever imagine. However, when I decided to become an entrepreneur, I started falling in love with business books. Today, even though I still read business books, my favorite books are biographies and history because they tend to serve all the purpose of both self-help and even entrepreneurship. Now, having read a reasonable amount of biographies, I discovered one thing, and that is, life usually stops at 30. I know this will piss a lot of people off, but it's my painful discovery that 99% of the people who became successful in life finished the foundation of their success in their 20s. Yes, the world may not know these people until later in life, but in almost every case, I studied people who became successful in life and they finished the foundation of their success before they were 30. Think about Winston Churchill, Abraham Lincoln, Warren Buffett, Michael Jackson, and Larry King, not to talk about Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, or even Mark Zuckerberg. All these people and 99% of other successful people may not have become famous until they got to age 40. Still, if you dig deeper into their life's history, you'll see that they have built the entire foundation of their successes before age 30. And that is by investing heavily in three important things I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. For the older guys who may see this video as irritating, well, I'm not insinuating that it's too late for you. I'm only telling you the truth, which is, you need more determination to run a marathon at 65 than you need at 25. So, let's dig deep into these three essential assets everyone should invest in in their 20s. 1. Invest heavily in your mind. I have hated school almost all my life. The very first time I started questioning school was when I was only 13 years old. And the older I got, the more I wondered who the heck built what we call a school, because such people must be dumb or evil. One of the reasons why I hate school is because school makes education seem boring, and as a result, young people hate education. School makes people focus on paper, useless paper, instead of them focusing on learning. School complicates a lot of things. The school makes you sit down for three years to learn in theory, what you can go out to learn in the practical world in six months. School destroys your mind by giving you degrees instead of teaching you how to invest in your mind. If you want to know what I am talking about, ask 10 people who left the university 10 years ago. Tell them to tell you how many books they have read since they left school. Most people read no book after school simply because they believe that they have degrees, so they are educated. No. Degrees don't make people educated. Knowledge and wisdom do. If you genuinely want to be successful in life, you should spend every minute of your 20s investing in your mind. Start by reading anything and everything. Just read. Read and watch educative videos about money, leadership, negotiation, selling, even history, space, technology, science, and pretty much anything. This will broaden your horizon. Then, stop reading just anything. Start reading wisely in your chosen field. For example, if you want to be a scientist, study biographies of 20 to 50 great scientists in the world. Read their other publications and learn everything you can about them. If you want to be an entrepreneur, find biographies of at least 10 successful entrepreneurs and study them. Then read like 50 books on marketing. Move on to other books on leadership, negotiation, etc. Do you get the point? You should invest heavily in your mind when you're in your 20s because knowledge and its applications are like a weapon. The more powerful your weapon is, the more likely you are to win a battle. 2. Invest in quality relationships When I look back at my life today, I conclude without any doubt that I would never have been successful if not for the kind of people I associated with. My journey, like that of everyone, was so rough 
and one of the reasons I survived was because I had quality people around me. Some of these people made me see what I could never have observed about myself. Some of these people assessed my ideas and suggested better ways to go about it. Some of these people did nothing but borrow me books, which ended up changing my life. Here is what you have to do. Identify quality people and invest time in being around them. Make it your responsibility to visit quality people and hang around them often. These people will change your life with their ideas and positivity. Just as negative people will destroy your life with their pessimism. The problem, however, with being old is that the older you get, the less time you have to invest in quality relationships. And that is why you have to do it when you're young. Today, I'm 33. I have children that I must spend two to three hours with every day. I have a company that I run. I have a wife and a thousand books to read. Besides, most quality people I know are always busy. Hence, they are not always available to hang out with. This is the reason why you have to spend your 20s in building good relationships. Because you don't only have more time, you need those relationships now than later. 3. Invest in your dreams Everyone desires to do something great with their lives. The problem, however, is that everyone postpones when to start. I went entirely into the business world when I was 21. And that was the best decision of my entire life. Because if I had waited, I might never do it again. You see, life gets tougher as we grow up. You can't afford to wait till everything is perfect. Now that you're 20, 23 or 27, this is the best time to waste some time trying to achieve your dream. I said waste because that is what it would look like when you start. When you start pursuing your dreams, nothing good will happen to you. Everything you'll meet on the road will be discouraging. You'll lose money, get rejected, make mistakes and fail. These are all investments and the best time to start is when you're young. Because when you're young, your mistakes, failures and other people's rejections won't matter as much as they would when you're 50. If I have to give my child a piece of advice on his 20th birthday, that advice would be sacrifice all your 20s pursuing your dream. Don't enjoy any day of your 20s. Yes, don't run out of any pleasure for that one decade. Be the slave of your dream for 10 years and see how you'll be a king for the rest of your life. Again, I want to tell you the truth. If you're still young, now is the only time you'll ever have. I know friends who are trying to do what I did 12 years ago now. They can't because their spirit is already weak. And failure is scarier now that they are 37 or 40 years old than when they were 20. If you're old, however, you must be honest with yourself by telling yourself the truth, which is, it will be more difficult now for you to achieve your dream than it would have been a decade ago. So, you must be willing to make greater sacrifices now, or you will achieve nothing. Invest in your mind, invest in quality relationships, and invest in your dreams. Thank you for watching this video. Please drop us a like, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. We love you.